group of artisans in the Kwa uh, suburb of Alaja today besieged the frontage of the Joy FM building demanding justice following the fatal shooting of their colleague. The victim was shot by a man during an altercation over a parking space on Tuesday. Take a look. We know that Yabwedi, a 32-year-old mechanic, on Tuesday was shot at a mechanic warehouse at Alajo. Now, today, news we've gotten is that Yabwedi has passed on. He died at the Greater Accra Hospital in the late hours of Wednesday evening. Now, what we've gathered, as far as the medical report is concerned, is that his right kidney was hit so hard and so that it had to be removed. His colon was also hit so it had to be cut and joined. He lost so much blood, over 12 points of blood was lost and had to be pumped back into his system. All of that were done, but the young man couldn't survive. He's passed on. And colleague workers at the garage are here. Can you hear me? And all they want is justice. I get the news yesterday evening, night around 8 o'clock, that I get the news that my brother passed away. Actually, I couldn't sleep the whole night. So today we wake up and we say that no. We hear that they are doing the case, police case, that uh, the person is Nana, Nana child, Nana person, so bodyguard. So we don't know. We know that when we come to you, media, we will get the result that we need. That's why, and you people were there yesterday, the day that the accident happened. You were there. So we know that when we get to you, you hear the Nana himself will hear, will listen to us, who know what happened. So that people use his name to patrol and kill people around. That maybe his mind is not there, he's not with his mind, but people are killing people just like that. I'm said new thing. Yesterday evening, around six o'clock, we called a guy's phone and the guy responded. And I'm, 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 I know that if someone is in custody, he is not supposed to receive call, which means the guy has been released. So we are very, very, very angry this morning. In fact, receiving the call, confirming to us that he's still out. So you think the case is going nowhere? No, we, are, we, we, we don't think the case, the case is going nowhere. But our angry is that the whole country to support us, to support justice. It's playing for this kind of boy doesn't talk a lot. And don't even, since I was in that yard, it was 20 years now. I don't see that boy agree with somebody else. But why? Why should he come like that? Look at us see what happened three days today. And very, very unfortunately non far. What I can say. Because looking at Mayo Muhammad and looking at police people that has been doing and looking at boy that has been fighting finish and working to him as usual, just finish working. And this thing has happened to him. I could tell my president, Nana, Nana, please. Yeah. Nana, please. Yeah. Nana, please. Yeah. Nana, please. Yeah. Nana, please. All right, so here are the premises of Multi TV. And all they are calling for is justice. They want President Akufuado to ensure that the guy who perpetrated this crime is brought to book and that justice prevails. Otherwise, they are also threatening. They are going to mold guns and put in their own pockets to go around perpetrating same. From here are the multi-TV premises. This is Latifi Dries reporting for Joy News.